uh, we are all pleased and very pleased, I can say, to be with you and I wish to thank you for joining us uh, today for an important event of Airbus, which is the industrial launch of the A350. The launch period for the A350 was similar to that of any other program, but with to date already 140 firm commitments from nine launch customers, it enjoys a major success on the market. And this is what matters. We have analyzed the market and listened to our customers, what we constantly do, uh, who in addition to the highly successful A330, especially the 330-200, wanted an aircraft with a similar seating capacity, but with more range. The A350 is bigger, so it has more seats, flies further, has more range, and has lower operating costs uh, than its direct competitor. Uh, the A350 really complements our long-range family with, on the one hand, the high-capacity A380 for hub-to-hub, -hub, and on the other, a choice of products adapted to the various needs in the medium 250 to, A3, to, to 380 seat category with the 330s, 340s, and now the new A350. Thanks to a commonality between all of them, we really can offer the best choice and the most adapted product to the operators. So what is it? What is this airplane that's uh, got them so worried in Seattle and Washington that they're willing to start a trade war? Well, it happens to be the most advanced airplane of the 21st century. And why would it be so? Well, to begin with, it's using everything we can bring from the 380 and then more. It comes out in 2010. Remember, our 380 enters service at the end of 2006. So we've got four more years to develop uh, new technologies, and they'll be put into the 350. It's quite an aircraft, a sister ship to the 380 and a member of our fly-by-wire family. Now, how big is this market? That's really part of the story as well. If you look at our global market forecast here, you can see that we're talking about 866 aircraft a year for the next 20 years, about 1.9 trillion US dollars, uh, which is uh, probably something in the neighborhood of 1.5 uh, trillion euros. But we break this out into the different categories. The 380 category, very large aircraft, will take about 22% of all the revenue over the next 20 years. Of course, single aisles, a lot of units, they'll take about 40%. But that next column up there at 24%, the small twin aisle is the market we're talking about. It's about the size of the 380 market in terms of revenue, a lot bigger in terms of units, 3,300 units to be shared by Boeing and Airbus. And uh, we would expect to get at least 50% of that market with the 350 and other entrants we have in the market. An important point for many people around airports, a new, quieter airplane. Look at that uh, uh, bottom bullet point. The 85 uh, decibel contour is about half the size, or even less than half the size, of a 777-200ER contour. That means if you're flying a 350-900 into Charles de Gaulle, or taking off from Charles de Gaulle, the noise footprint that you're going to make in the surrounding community is half the noise footprint you'd be making on an Air France 777-200ER. So there it is, the Airbus fly-by-wire family and two new members, the 350-800 and the 350-900, not explaining the transition cost and how it'll only take uh, two weeks or three weeks to transition, unlike a normal five or six week program, a common type rating, no transition time to a 330. That's what we call uses of advanced technology. We have nine customers so far, 140 firm commitments, not options, not reconfirmables, 140 firm orders for this airplane right now. They'll start going into our order book over the next couple months, and we'll have 200 firm orders by the end of this year spread around the globe, a true global presence for the aircraft. Well, there it is. We have the launch. We had the authorization to the offer at the end of last year. The launch right now today, or actually was yesterday. Uh, the definition freeze will be the first quarter of next year. The first flight, 
at the end of 2009, entry into service of the Dash 800. In the summer of uh, 2010, six months later, the Dash 900 will enter service in 2010 as well. It's the right long-range twin-engine aircraft for that very important 250 to 300 seat market. We think we've got the right size. It's the right range. It's got a double-digit cost reduction over today's standards, right comfort on all new cabin, and true family commonality, a fly-by-wire cockpit that's part of a family, something no other manufacturer offers, and a true sister ship for the 21st century of that very impressive A380.